So there are some ants tending aphids on this cleaver, which is a plant. These guys treat these like cattle. They'll bring them in at the end of the night, they'll herd them, bring them in, they protect them. Pretty shaky, it's breezy today guys, sorry. And they'll milk them. They get this honeydew type stuff from them that they excrete from their back end, basically. So the ants love that. So they herd these aphids like cattle and they treat them like cattle. They harvest their their milk. Pretty cool stuff, huh? So the aphids uh, provide for the ants and in return the ants provide protection for the aphids. Pretty cool stuff. Little bee fly. These insects are pretty cool. Look at that long proboscis he uses for feeding on nectar and stuff and flowers. Pretty unique looking, huh? Now he is a type of fly. And they will hover when they're uh, feeding on nectar. So they're pretty cool looking. So I should let him go. Look at this guy. I feel really bad for him. He flew into my car, right? Went right up to the windshield, and about four seconds later, he died. He just died. He buzzed like mad, and then killed over dead. So I don't know what happened. Um, he went down in the corner of the window, he buzzed a whole bunch, and just freaked out and died. Maybe it cooked them. It's been sitting in the sun all day. Look at that little thing. Really pretty looking too. That nice goldish color. Fuzzy, long proboscis. Now it is a type of fly. You can tell by its antenna, its eyes. That doesn't say a whole lot. It's just its body structure, plus its wings. See how it has, see how it basically has one pair of wings? Whereas a bee kind of basically has two pairs? So, uh, this is a fly. Now, he'll have tiny, tiny little wings underneath that you can't really see from this angle. But they're really just used for steering and, uh, balance. They're not really wings at all. They look like these tiny, tiny little paddles. But I don't know what happened. I love these guys. I feel really bad for them. This is terrible. Poor little guy. This is one of my favorite insects in Pennsylvania. The dogbane beetle. Beautiful, beautiful creature. Some people mistake this with the Japanese beetle, but as you can see, this is clearly even more beautiful. Right now, it's not on dogbane. You can see my reflection in its elytra, which are the, the wing casings on the back, the shell. And you can see the sky and everything else reflected in it. Look at that beautiful creature. Now their underside is equally impressive. This one's going to fly off. Look at that sky reflected in its shell. Now the under their side of their shell is just as impressive. Look at those feet. But if you have the right kind of lighting, you'll see this all, the underside is just as reflective as the top side. Look at that poor little guy's face. This guy's sitting there like, what are you doing to me?
crazy little caterpillar. Very reddish brown. Now when this guy's hiding on his leaf, it's absolutely seamless. It's he presses his body so tight up against the leaf. There you go. That's more like the true colors, right there. What an amazing creature. Snapping turtle I've ever seen. Yep. Juvenile snapping turtle, real small. This one might be a male. Look at that very long tail. Yeah, but not yet. Okay. Look at that texture. Set them down for a second. aphids. Tons of little aphids. They all move at the same time. It's kind of weird. Now look at the jaws on this guy. He's in a defensive posture right now. He's got his legs tucked under, his antenna are hidden. He's got his jaws wide open. Those are pretty big jaws though. Look at that. You wouldn't want to get nailed by this guy because it would hurt. See how big those, those jaws are? No joke. I don't know if you can tell it that it's red, but it is. Striking colors. I say that a lot with bugs, but insects, but it is. Real pretty. Nice red. It's like a cinnamon red. Real pretty. Oops. There she goes. He. No, you don't want to be there. I better put you up on the wall. <laughs>